This is our 9 inch crochet by the yard and these are great because you can make it any size that you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch the, the sides together. So I have pinned my ends together and then I'm just using a little bit smaller of a stitch to make sure that they're that it's really secure. So you just start at one end, back stitch, and go down to the other end and back stitch. And so that's the inside of that, and we'll just turn it around. And you can see that nice seam right there. So I've put this on a little mannequin so you can see how, how it looks. And then I'm going to use the mannequin to be tying my tool. So if you're going to be making a lot of these, then a mannequin is a pretty good investment. Now if you, if you don't have one, you don't want to use one, that's fine too. Just get something to put this around to, to hold it while you're, while you're pulling on the holes to put the tool in. I've got my tool right here. We have to decide how long you want your dress to be. This is totally based on personal preference. And it's always better to have it too long and cut it down than to have it be too short if that's what you're, the look you're going for is length. So once you know the length that you want, then you're going to double it and add two inches. So cutting the tool, it's really nice to have a cutting mat and a rotary cutter. If you don't have one, that's totally fine too. You can just measure and cut with scissors. So. I wanted mine to be 22 inches in length, so I'm going to double that and add two. So I'm just going to roll this out to 22 inches, do it again, but make sure to add my two inches, so I'm doing it to 24, and that gives me a piece that is 46 inches in length. And then you just keep cutting. So taking your strip of tool, you're going to fold it in half and kind of squish the edges. And then we're going to take the middle and I'm going to do one, uh, one for every color. And so I'm going to do a light purple here, a dark purple here, light purple here, dark purple here. I just wanted to move this over so you could see better. So taking this little loop that we just made, we're going to squeeze that loop in. And I've skipped that bottom row and went to the second row. So now we make that loop and then just take your other tool and pull it through the, through the loop. And then you just pull and that's it. So I've got five in now. So I've got the first one and these different colors. We'll just continue going around and then I'll show you on the second row what we're gonna do. Take some more tool and we're gonna add the second row. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to go above, so we've got this one right here, we're going to go to the next one above, right there, and put in our tool, and then pull it out in that hole right there, and then do the same thing, pulling it through. So that's how you do the second row and then just continue the same thing that we did on the first row all the way around the second row. Now we just need to add the straps. So 
taking my white one and a half inch satin ribbon, I've cut it to nine inches. So using these safety pins as a guide, okay, and then I'm going to place it here. So as you can see, it's all secure now. And then we're going to take it to the back right there and then do the same thing. So here's the back and here's the front. Now we're going to add the flowers to make the waistband. You can also do this by adding flowers onto a satin ribbon and make a sash. That's a great way to do it if you don't want it to be so permanent. So I'm going to start out with the ends, the sides, and then come towards the middle. And I'm going to attach it with hot glue, but just a dab, and then I'm going to sew and stitch on the flowers so they're more secure. 